Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Modded. So, last time we were doing some missions, trying to get some more money and parts. Um, we still have these two missions here. Convoy destruction, I don't think we can do uh, with our current mechs. I know it's only a, a tier 9, difficulty 9. But we are using scary tanks, so the convoys are actually a lot tougher to kill uh, with scary tanks modded. And they do more damage too, I think. I think the the loadouts that they have, the weaponry that they have, is uh, increased as well. I'm not positive about that, but they're definitely harder to kill. And they carry some pretty heavy firepower. So, don't want to do that. Stronghold defense, I feel like, is actually a pretty easy one to do early on. Because you're facing easy enemies, right? Light mechs, maybe some medium mechs, uh, and vehicles. But you get all those turrets, and the turrets are basically the same as they are in the uh, higher level ones, right? They got the same weapons, same, uh, I think same tier weapon. I don't know if turrets even have tier weapons, to be honest. I guess they do, and I think there are all tier ones, right? Because uh, when you destroy a bunch of turrets in a mission, you can see the salvage from them, and it's pretty much always just a ton of, like, tier one LRM-10s or lasers whatever ac2s that kind of stuff um but anyways so the turrets really help you out a lot uh early game so i think we're actually going to try that one um and we actually had one up here as well that was also nine we could go back and do that one as well i think if this one goes well let's try it and see how it goes but i think having the turrets and because you're fighting you know just easy enemies in general those turrets are really going to help you out a lot so let's go with that. The extreme weather conditions will yeah, we did repair everybody. Okay, good. Oh, he got bruised. Oh, he doesn't have any capacity for negatives, there. though. That's nice. Neither of these guys do. That's awesome. When they don't have any negative quirk capacity, it's really helpful. This guy has two, so he, he can get negatives, unfortunately. But one out of three, that's not too bad. I think we're good to just keep going with this, huh? Let me see. Yeah, okay, we had Panther and Phoenix Hawk. Well, if we could get three more Panther parts, that would be really cool. And then we could build that, and we'd have ourselves a fourth mech. Although, don't we need to unlock the bay for... I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I think it's just... I think we have the fourth bay already, obviously. It looks like we do. Um, although I have to try putting a mech in it to see if it will let us. Um, I think you're just limited on the tonnage that you can put in, uh, mech bay slots 2, 3, and 4 until you unlock them. Since we're using the YAML upgrades. Alright. Oh, visibility is low. I forgot to look at the, uh, biome info. Okay, we got some stuff right here. It's AC2. Uh, Anti-air would probably be good, because we don't have a lot of good this stuff for fighting air. I think the anti-air turrets are like a light blue ravager. Modes. I like that. That's also a good one. Um, looking for like a light blue colored turret. Let's see if he tells us. Okay. I want that. Three PPCs. One LRM, three decoys, two flamers. No anti-air turrets? Oh, that sucks. Secondary objective uh, acquired. All right. New target Hopefully we don't have to face too much, uh, too many VTOLs. Boy, that visibility is kind of tough, isn't it? Does that one work? I mean, it's better. I can actually see that we have a line of sight on... Where are my shots going? I can't see them. There they are. Okay. This is Lynx. I have a new sensor trace. Okay, yeah, let's switch to this guy. He's a lot closer now. Oh, we got VTOLs. I didn't notice. Okay, let's get out. Enemy target destroyed. Target 
Okay. Takes care of that. Okay, never mind. Go get that one. Can we get him? Yeah. Okay, nice. This is Hawk. Reporting mech destroyed. Uh, here comes the next wave. We need some defenses. I gotta get that Ravager. Okay, I want you guys to stay up here now. Don't go out there where you can get shot at. AC2 is a good one, too. Um, oh yeah, we got tons of uh, defense points that we can spend. Let's see. Ravager. I think we'll leave it at level one for now. Well, I guess we have to. We don't quite have enough to upgrade it, although we are getting close. What is this one? Like large laser, hopefully? No, medium laser. Okay, never mind. That's not gonna have the range that I need from up here. I think this one is AC2 though, so I do want that. Oh, it's another PPC for Nice, that's actually even better, I would say. Um, yeah. Awesome. Those will put in some work for us. I think maybe one of these back here is AC2. Or, or both of them. What's this one here? Large laser, maybe? Or medium? Medium laser, okay. Oh, yeah, those PPCs are doing work. See, that's what I was talking about. Once you start getting the turrets, they, uh, the enemies, because they're all like light mechs, they're just not even going to get close. You like AC2s? I do. <laughs> yeah, those medium lasers I don't think are gonna reach. They sure aren't. Okay. Let's uh kinda wanna get this one as well. We should walk around and maybe get some more defense. I bet at some point we'll have some enemies coming from this side as well. These defense mission or uh, stronghold defense missions are fun. I like these. Let's uh yeah, let's go ahead and get that large laser. That's a good one to have. And, um, what is that? AMS? Yeah. What's that? Medium laser probably, yep. I think the large laser ones are a slightly darker shade of green. I could be wrong about that. It might be the exact same color of green, but um okay so i think maybe that one over there is ac2 that would be good as well and did they finally kill that guy yep nice defend friendly scout neck is he gonna come to us or is he gonna go after enemies because i'm not really venturing out there so hopefully he'll just come to us that ac2 is really in a bad spot because it won't be able to shoot much uh we need 110 for that right yeah yeah. yeah, see that darker green? I bet that's a large laser. And that was an LRM-10. Yes, it is large laser. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay. We've got a pretty decent ring of, of uh, defenses going on now. Let's see. Can we see that guy now? Maybe not. I don't think so. Okay, there's a lot of stuff coming our way. Holy cow, those guys are zipping around. J. Edgar F. Oh, the flamer variant. He is fast. Holy crap. I don't know why I fired those lasers. Uh huh. Hopefully, our turrets have better aim than I do. Here comes an enemy mech. Let's lock on to him. Can't have you getting too close now, Mr. Javelin. <laughs> J. Edgar. That's so funny. Yeah, he got stuck on a rock. Okay, let's go... I don't want to sit over here anymore. Let's go over to the top of the ramp. And we can shoot those mechs as they try and come up the ramp. Usually that's what they do. Uh, with these light mechs, some of them might have jump jets and may actually use the jump jets to uh, skip the ramp. But I guess we'll see. We finish 
this guy real quick. Maybe. There we go. Get my leg. So close to shutting down. He's also so close to being dead. Let's back up for a second. I need to cool off. What was that? Uh, <laughs> that's what happened when he blew up. I don't know what what happened there. Okay, let's back up again. That's interesting. Let it serve as a warning to the rest. Yeah, that scout mech did go out there to attack enemies. It's not really what I needed you to do there, buddy. If you want to survive, let's see what's his... Yeah, he might make it. There's just vehicles out there at this point. There we go. Ouch. Oh man, that's doing a ton of damage. Holy cow. Well, double AC 10 burst fire. Yeah, that's not nice. Uh, I need a, I need to switch mechs here. Let's put... You guys stay back here. And I'm just gonna use my SRMs if they come up the ramp. How about that? Man, they uh, somebody was shooting at that point there. Target acquired. Weapon yeah. Lord, that thing hurt. Weapon destroyed. I want a medium laser. Target destroyed. Oh no. There we go. Yeah, I think at this point maybe uh we just upgrade some turrets here. Well, let's wait and see which direction the enemies come from on the next wave. I need to switch back to the blackjack now, so I have some range again. Order acknowledged. We could pretty much just let the turrets handle these, I think. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target okay. destroyed. Um. Well, those last two guys, are they even coming towards us? No. Will that cicada go get them? Hey, oh, crap, there's a lot more coming. Oh, he's gonna die for sure. Don't run out there, dude. Come over here. Idiot. Okay, um, oh, large laser. Yep, like that. And then, I think I'm gonna go down there and get some, uh, Upgrade some turrets, or uh, get some. Oh, we got some uh, mechs or spawners down there. Might be a vehicle spawner. I bet that's like a, a light mech or a medium mech though. All right, yeah, let's go down here. See what we got. Get that. Medium mech. Okay, we'll wait on that, but I'll come back and get that once the next wave spawns, I think. Let's get these large lasers around here. These are really good. Yeah, buddy. This is this one. Yeah. Sure, it's cheap. These look like AC2s. Oh, keep the seat. Yeah, that's good too. Uh, we're spending a lot of our defense points right now, so... I think I'll hold off on doing anything else until we know where the enemy's coming from. There's still eight of them out there. They're coming in, though. Right? Where are they at? Yeah, most of them are. Okay. 
I think let's go over to that side then. There's another spawner. Let's see, these look like medium lasers along this side. Yeah. Another medium mech. So we got two medium mechs we can spawn. That's pretty good. Another medium laser decoy. Sure. AC2. AC2. Is that a medium laser? I think so. Okay. Target acquired. Destroyed. Target destroyed. That's all of them. Okay, sweet. Prepare for the next wave. Where are they going to come from? That's what I need to know. We're pretty well defended on this side. It's the uh, other side over there. That could use some help. So hopefully they don't come from that side. But knowing my luck, they probably will. Usually how it works out, right? Mm, so that's the southwest side. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Only four units to start with. Okay. Well, we could certainly do that. Where's this one? And also, okay. What were these up here? Oh, large laser, yeah. And they did come from the side that I said they were going to come from, didn't they? <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of freaking beetles coming in. Oh, that's not great. They could really wreck me if they so choose. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Secondary objective acquired. Oh, don't shoot me. Who is shooting me? Eh, I'm about to lose my side torso and arm. Target oh, destroyed. Let's just stand here for a second and see if we can stay protected. I think uh, most of the VTOLs are down now. We've got a javelin. special target out there. Well, let's hope our turrets are good enough. He's only got medium lasers, so we don't have to worry about him shooting us yet. I don't think I can hit him right there. Oh, there's that rock in the way. Okay. And... Hello. No? Can't. Yep, there he is. Okay. Did they destroy some of my turrets? I don't hear a lot of shooting going on. Okay, he's getting close enough for those medium lasers now. Almost. There we go. Getting some additional fire from our turrets now. Finally, oh, we're gonna have to restock ammo here. All right, let's go get our ammo restock. Looks like that turret's still there. Okay. Maybe I'll upgrade it. Well, that medium mech got over here. What is that? Cicada? Yeah. Okay. Let's upgrade that large laser. Sounds like he's putting in work. Can we hit that guy? Yes, we can. He's got medium lasers and a small laser. Basically a turret with legs at this point, right? A couple AC2s, I just sit here, fire away from long range. Boy, it is really bobbing and weaving. Did not help him though. Did that cicada go down? I think so. Yeah, because it just started an LRM carrier wave. Okay. Uh, I think the large laser should actually be pretty good at taking those out. Can I, how can I can't see it? Back up here. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. We also picked up some of that incendiary ammo last last episode. We were gonna try putting that on. Oh yeah, look at that. He's got AC tens on there now too. A turret. That's cool. It's not just large lasers. Um, yeah, I wanted to try some of that incendiary ammo on on this blackjack. I'll have to see if it's any good. I think there's something in the way right there. Like a hill. <laughs> just shoot the side of the hill, you'll get him eventually. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just hitting dirt right there as well. Looks like over here is the better side to be targeting. These are all missile carriers, right? Yeah, LRM-10s, okay. Just want to make sure I'm not getting shot at with uh, like some ACs or something. Lost an AC turret. Where? And how? Are they actually shooting missiles at us? I don't know where the one that we lost was. Oh, hold on. Didn't we have one over here? Or did we not get that one? I can't remember now. We got that one. That's a large laser. One. Can I hit him at all from here? I don't think so. Is he even gonna come towards us? Oh, I think he's stuck. Um. I guess can we send our guys out there? We'll see what you can do, boys. In the meantime, let me go ahead and get our other mechs as well. We've got these two medium mechs down here that we can get. Why, where are you going, dude? That is not the way to get down. Hornet knows where he's doing. Oh. Okay, I guess it got destroyed. Alright, complete final wave for one million sea bills. Oh, we could definitely use that money. I think we're sticking around, boys. Tunker down. Get some assistance in here. Let's go over to the other side and get the other one. And then we'll see which side they're going to attack us from. As ordered, sir. And that will determine where we spend the rest of our defense points on uh, turrets. Uh, what was the medium mech that it spawned? I didn't even see. Where'd he go? I don't know. I guess we'll see him at some point. Where is that extraction point? Way out there. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Here we go. What's this? Blackjack. Hey, buddy. Blackjack 1. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Uh, looks like, what is that, five? Five light mechs coming in. Of course they're coming from, oh, we got five coming from the other side too. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade that Ravager turret. Let's get up here. And then maybe upgrade that turret as well, if I have enough. Or maybe I'll just do that. Pe nah, I think having uh, I think this side is pretty well defended, actually. Wow. Okay, these guys came up on us pretty quick here. Those other guys from the other corner, I think, have taken a little bit longer to close in. This is Lynx. My sensors have a new contact. Yeah. I know. Yes, sir. Just stay up here for now, guys. I don't want you to get destroyed. We have lost one of our large laser turrets. Uh, where? That one? No, that wasn't a large laser. Okay, well, I'm not sure. It's probably the one on the outside of the, the corner over there behind me. This one's 
maxed out. Oh, okay. Cool. Not gonna worry about that then. Let's see. We got this guy is coming up, looks like. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we should probably get this turret over here. Or we can go upgrade that other PPC turret. Now, let's get this one. Okay. Now we got somebody coming up over on this side. Maybe? Nope, he changed his mind. Okay. Oh, that's fine. You can change your mind. Let's get some uh, free shots out on that. That's a blackjack one. I wonder if they were both blackjacks, the mechs that we got from the spawners. So far, I only see one friendly mech out there. Is he trying to shoot me or the turret? Doesn't matter, because now he's dead. Really trying not to lose my side torso here. There we go. So now there's just the one guy out there. Is that it for the final wave? Nah, I bet it'll spawn some more stuff once we finish that last guy. Uh-huh. So we got... Yeah, that's that, the Blackjack 1. Where's the other one? Did he get destroyed already? I don't see... Oh, whoa, whoa! Seriously? Okay, we got three Assault Mechs coming in, guys. King Crab, an Awesome, and an Annihilator. Of course, why not? Why wouldn't it be an Annihilator? And why wouldn't they come from this side where I don't have the Ravager turret? Makes sense. Uh, let me see. Well, who's this guy right here? Huh? I can see a mech right there, not over there. I'm a little confused. Yeah. I can still see it. Is that my mech? Is that friendly? I think it's a friendly. I don't know. It must be the other medium mech that we spawned. No we hit him. Oh, yeah. We can hit him. Oh, sound was clipping there again. I notice it does that sometimes with the AC, these uh, AC2s. Let's see. We can see that guy as well. Yeah, let's just stay focused on this king crab for now, I guess. I think that awesome is getting close though over here on our right side. Yeah. I think we should probably switch targets here. Almost got his side torsos. And CT. Okay, let's just go CT then. There we go. Okay, well these assault mechs won't be too bad if we could take them all out at long range. I mean, they're not even shooting at me. Oh, well he can't. I'm beyond the range of all his weapons, I believe. That Annihilator though with the AC-10s, I'm pretty sure he can reach us. Oh, am I hitting a friendly there? I guess our Blackjack is out there. Yeah, well, Blackjack is gone now. Thanks for helping out though, buddy. We hit the annihilator. No, there's a bunch of rocks in the way. I don't think we can hit either of them right now. Oh, starting to get a view of that annihilator, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Oops, didn't mean to fire my lasers there. There we go, now we can hit him. Let's get some damage on him, see if we can open up that CT. We sure did. Can we finish it before that king crab pops out? That King Crab's going to be in range of us now with some of his weapons. Alright, Annihilator down. One to go, boys. We got this. Not going to be a problem at all. As soon as I get a line of sight on him. There he is. Oh, fire. Hostile, pull off a part of 
Yep. Just pull them apart, boys. Perfect. I say boys. I was talking to my turrets. Because my, my lance was just, uh, you know, safely tucked away inside the base there. Not really doing anything. So I don't expect their damage to be very high in this mission. But that's okay. Uh, they serve their purpose. I wonder what loot we'll get. I guess there's those three assault mechs, but I'm not going to take assault mechs right now. We are not at that point. But they are actually cheap enough for us to get. <laughs> wow. They really are pretty cheap when they don't have all of the uh, later game gear in them. Uh, so we could go Cicada, Fire Starter's pretty good. Panther. Oh, we need those. Sweet. We could build our Panther. That's awesome. I don't even remember seeing a panther in there, but I wasn't paying that close attention to it. There's some more rapid fires, but they're all tier zero. Although, if we get some more, we can always upgrade a tier zero to a tier one. Do the same thing with AC2s. There are two picks each, though. I don't know if that's really worth it when we can get some better stuff for like one pick each. You see that engine core was 100 and there was a 120. Eh. Uh, three. So is there any mech parts for three picks that I want? Flea? No thanks. I guess not. Um, let's go with the AC-10 burst fires then. Three of those, we could at least, I think it only needs two part, or uh, two, uh, what am I saying? Two of them in order to upgrade, two tier zero to upgrade to a tier one. That's what I was trying to say. All right, let's go. 133343 CA. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Not a whole lot there. Dang it. The one guy who actually has capacity for negative quirks got one. He actually had the... Well, I guess the Valkyrie had the least damage. He just lost an arm somehow. How do you lose an arm taking eight damage? Oh, that's not... He took more than 8 damage, but it was not because I was piloting him for a little bit. I bet that's what it is. Because there's that's not possible. There's no way. But it's because I was switching mechs. Um, and I took a lot of that damage while I was piloting the mech. So, that, I guess, makes sense. We'll just go ahead and repair all. It should have been able to replace that. Yep. Oh, we lost a heat sink, too. Yeah, he lost a bunch of stuff. Well, not really, actually. He just lost a heat sink. The other stuff is just uh, damaged. Nice. Okay, so that actually was not too bad at all. And we got some decent loot from it. Um, I guess we can go ahead and build the Panther here. The cost to build it doesn't matter if you're in an industrial hub or not. Um, it will increase our upkeep, though. And it's going to be around 50% damaged, so... We're definitely going to have to do work on it. I think I'll wait until we get to the industrial hub to do that. Um, here's my question. Do we go do that now? Or do we do this stronghold contract first and then we go do that? Let's go do that now. We'll go up here and we might even have an arena match we could do up here. Let's see. Okay. Um... Contracts. Oh, right, for the arena. Yeah, let's see what they are. Scrapyard Scuffle. That's an open class and can't take Lance, so I'm not doing that. Actually, I guess you can take a Lance for that, right? It doesn't say anywhere that you have to. Once you do go out in a free for all match, it's, you're, you're supposed to do it by yourself. It's free for all, but. Oh, this has two of them. It's a double mission. Interesting. And then we got medium free-for-all. We could do this with our blackjack. We, we could definitely try that with the blackjack. Um, I was going to say, this has a 100-ton 100, 100 limit, though. So really, you could, if you're using light mechs, medium mechs, I think you can get away taking a lance into the free-for-all. Um interesting let's go ahead and build our panther okay yep 
Oh, thank you. He has the engine. That was going to be the biggest problem uh, about building this mech if he didn't have the engine. All right, so we can just simply repair all. And that's actually not bad at all. 800k. Um, I think we can optimize them a little bit, though. Let's move these up here. Move ammo to the leg. I kind of want to switch this out for a 6. So we got SRM6 and PPC. It's pretty good. I think the heat is or cooling is probably a little bit low. But it'll work. How's the armor? Definitely want to have that maxed out. So we'll take it off of there. Get two there, two there. And remove it from the legs. Uh, you're going to need two more there and two more there. I think that's going to work. We actually have some sensors here. They're kind of expensive, though. Pharaoh prototype. Huh. Probably not anywhere near worth buying. Okay, I think that's good. Um, it's optimized for now, at least. Okay. So we'll start that. Now we've got our fourth mech. What is he? A 35 tonner. So yeah, he'll be our second line. There we go. We'll just order them in order of tonnage there. Uh, he does need weapon groups and paint job, though. He doesn't need anything with weapon groups. Let's just add that there instead and uh paint apply all yeah whatever okay panther and that should do it if you want to play okay uh I didn't check his quirks. Draconis Combine. This design originates or is predominantly used by the Draconis Combine. Since they don't like outsiders using their designs, upkeep and repair costs are noticeably higher. How oh, goody. Uh, on the bright side, mechs from this faction have improved mobility as well as better proficiency with MRMs and PPCs. Nice. So we do get PPC projectile speed, cooldown, and heat gen, as well as weapon range, Oh, that's a negative, though. Oh, that sucks. That's not a lot, but still. Um, interesting. Okay. And it's more mobile. So you got turn speed, deceleration, some jump jet stuff. Alright, well, that's not bad. Nimble jumper, jump jet stuff. Proof targeting for long range. I believe that covers PPCs. So we get additional bonuses there to PPCs. Main gun, right arm. Designed with a heavy hitting primary weapon or main gun, so to speak, in the right arm. Right arm armor. Right arm structure. Arm, or uh, weapon cooldown. Weapon range. Oh, well that counteracts the range that we lost here. Nice. Okay, so that nets out. And then we have an arm uh, weapon cooldown modifier of minus 5%. I think that's going to be pretty good. If I do say so myself. Um, we do have... Is it links? Yep. We got to fix you, buddy. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, 28 days. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's see if we can do anything else with these guys. Heat... And energy evasiveness is pretty good, but it's only a three. Right, isn't five? Yeah, five is the max. Um, might be good, though. 174 days for that. Eesh. That's 58 days for the increased evasiveness. We could also go with some energy proficiency if we wanted to do offensive ability. Um, he doesn't have any offensive ability yet. 
We could make him, like, highly evasive if we wanted to. Well, let's let's start with our main guy. Um, he has heat and missile. It's not really anything I'm thrilled about. Heat and missile. You could go heat and energy. So you could be like an energy missile build with a lot of cooling. Kind of makes sense with builds like that. I hate taking these ones that are uh, only two of them because th you can only max out at four points on those. Uh, these ones that do a single uh, upgrade, they max out at five. And then the ones that do all three, they do two on each one. So that's maxing out at three, or uh, sorry, six points uh, of upgrade there. So really the ones that only do two of them are the worst ones to get. I'd rather have the ones that do a single, uh, what do you call these things? A single stat uh, or the ones that do all three stats. So we're going to skip on this stuff right now. I don't see anything that's going to help us there. Um, unless somebody's Off got... Recording heat and shielding that wasn't one of the it. options and then you had evasive the shield there yeah so all right i think we're good on that mongoose griffin nah oh yeah i was gonna say we sh should probably try doing the arena huh but i should try it with the incendiary ammo ammo that one. Oh, where did it? Didn't we pick up and send? Yeah. Oh, that's for the rapid fire. Okay, I thought we picked up regular AC2 incendiary. Never mind. We're not gonna do anything about that. So you're good as is, son. Let's let's do this. I th I th think we can pull this off. Um, we just have to not draw too much attention to ourselves. Right? Yeah, let's try it. I'm down. Uh, okay, you guys gotta go. Adios. I almost wonder if the SRM Valkyrie would be better. But no. Oh, yeah, this is a medium free for all. So, our only medium mech right now is the Blackjack. So, that's what we're gonna go with. All right, let's roll. These mech warriors are raring to go. It's time to see what they're made of. Uh-huh. So we got green guy right here in front of us. Kind of just want to sit low for a minute, though, and see... Uh, let them fight amongst, amongst each other for a little bit, and then we'll see if we can pick off some weakened stragglers. Because I really just don't want to draw too much attention to myself here. Uh, green guy's just kind of sitting down there, though. Blue guy's over there. What's he going to do? That's a hunchback? Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. Okay, he's engaging now. That's good. Looks like those guys over there are engaging. That took a little while to get the first hit. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Ava. Thanks for the update. Um, okay, what is this guy? Centurion? You... I really don't want to go up against him by myself. Uh, yeah, maybe bringing the Blackjack into medium mech match was not the best idea. It's okay. We're going to play it safe. And we'll get through this. Shifts the momentum Let's see. Here. Okay, there they are. We can actually fire on them from way back here. <laughs> Wonder if that'll draw aggro from uh, the Centurion over here, though. Yep, I was afraid of that. Let's see if we could drop aggro from him. An explosive situation. Ammo cooks off. There's chaos in the arena. Okay, somebody got destroyed. The opposition just reduced their firepower. This could be a huge opening. Where'd that Centurion go? There he is. Is he coming for me or not? Uh, I think he gave up on 
coming for me. He's just kind of sitting down there. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. I think they're all fighting kind of right behind there, it looks like. Yep. I really need somebody to come engage the Centurion. We'll I don't want to fight him. Centurions are tough. Leg, this match will be over. Okay, somebody else went down. Let's see. I think maybe I'm just going to have to take the Centurion out. I don't think anybody's going to come over here. We're going to end up having tell, to go hunt down whoever's left uh, from those other groups. All right, let's work on this guy. He's got missiles. We don't have AMS. Direct hit. Their firepower just took a hit. Okay, where is he at? I think he's behind that wall. Nope, he's right there. Oh, we could get a headshot on him. That'd be really Their nice. Ability to mount an offense is seriously Head armor is weak. Now. Oh yeah, we're getting through it. Show yourself. Pop that little head of yours back out here, buddy. Or I'll just shoot you in the legs, I guess. Destroy components. Oh, I'm supposed to be destroying components? Okay. Uh oh, back up, back up. I used my lasers right before he popped out, of course. Couldn't seem to get a headshot on him. There we go. He did a good amount of damage to me, though. All right. So now we're down to five enemies. Let's go over this way, I think. Oh, okay. They moved over there. Merge. So there's that gray guy over there by himself. If we can get a line of sight on him from here, that would be really cool. But I don't think we can. Like you staying behind that hill. Where'd he go? Yeah, he's just staying back there, I bet. Okay, well, uh, looks like we may have to go engage the other group first and then hunt that guy down last. What is it? A Shadowhawk? Still has his AC5 and missiles. Oh, there he is. Okay, I actually do have line of sight on him from here. He's gonna try- oh, crap. Yeah, I forget. He can actually reach me with those AC-5s. to pick up aggro from the other guys that are left over there. So I'm gonna move around this side. There we go, okay. Perfect. We need to destroy one more component though. This could prove to be a huge turning point here. Their weapon systems just suffered a huge blow. We can get his leg. That would work. Yep, they're coming for us. Ah! Couldn't quite get his leg off. We should be able to get one of the legs off this assassin, though. Or even an arm. He's pretty heavily damaged. Which way is he going? He should come up this way, but it looked like he might be going around the other way. Let's move down here, I guess. I think... Where did he go? Yep, he went up around the other way. He was trying to get around behind me. 
The assassin trying to be sneaky, huh? Go figure. There he is. And there we go. Beautiful. We got our five components destroyed. Now, what's left over here? Another assassin and the griffin, and they're both heavily damaged. Nice. This is going to be easy to clean up. Let's go around this side. The only downside to this blackjack is the maneuverability and mobility is pretty low. Uh, it's low top speed for a, for a medium mech, you know. I mean, if we were in an assault mech, sure, it'd be fine. Don't shoot me, shoot the other guy. What's wrong with you? Okay, I think we gotta go for this guy first. What? Ava's not gonna say anything? There's only two of us left. Alright, where'd he go? Is he gonna try and pop over that at me? Or nope, he's coming around the side. Predictable. There we go, finally. Good grief, that thing was tough. That's right. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad for an arena match. Definitely could, uh could use a slightly better mech there but obviously it works like i said the blackjack is actually for its tonnage it's a pretty good mech um especially if you get like an xl engine on it which you may not want to because it's pretty easy to lose a side torso but i don't know i uh if you can free up some more tonnage on it you can really load it out with some uh a good payload of weapons uh okay cool so we went from no name up to about a third of our way to freshman. I guess a quarter of the way. Uh, we got five, what is this called, fame? So five arena fame for doing the components, 20 just for doing the, winning the match. Okay, not bad for our first arena match. Not bad at all, I really like Shadowhawks. We could take both of those. It's a two H. It's not the best. I'd like to have a, a like two or three energy hard points, but it's not bad either. Uh, 55 tons, yeah, 55 tons for that as well. Uh, hunchback, which one's? Oh, that's a nice hunchback though. It's got some good hard points. Uh, uh, let's see, Centurion is really good too. Uh, these are all seven points to pick them, though. Okay. Centurion. That's the AH. It's not my favorite. I kind of like uh, the laser builds on the Centurions, to be honest. I have used this one before and loaded it up with uh, some SRMs. I think I did, like, three SRM2s. And then I think I did two AC fives maybe ac5 burst fire possibly are also good and then we got an enforcer see now that's a pretty solid build for an enforcer uh i mean the hunchback definitely has the best hard points but that enforcer has some pretty good hard points too let's check real quick make sure we don't need anything from down here um Looks like that might be the one pick that we use besides taking two mech parts. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. So we just got to decide what we want. The Hunchback is honestly the best one, but there's only one one part for that one. Uh, the Centurion, I don't think I want that variant. Although we could, of course, use those parts to build a different variant. We really like Shadowhawks. Just not quite so much this one. The 2H is not one of my favorites to use. I think we take the Hunchback and we'll take a Centurion part. 
Because those will probably be the next mechs that we build. Um, I think I want to build some 50 tonners before we get up into like 55 ton. Not a big difference, but whatever. Uh, 570 damage output. Nice. We got lots of lots of experience from that. That's good. All right, you've taken your first steps into the world of unsanctioned arena combat. It's a world filled with adrenaline, danger, and the thrill of victory. Even the most legendary mech warriors like Grey, no Grey Noten, I was going to say Norton, uh, began with their first win. Each battle is it? Well, of course they started with their first win. Everybody has, Okay, anyways. Uh, each battle is a test of skill, strategy, and nerve, pushing you to your limits as you fight against more formidable opponents with each new match. As a little token of their gratitude for making such a memorable debut, the Arena Sponsor Network has sent an incentive to keep getting better. It's a recognition of your talent and potential in this game. This reward serves as both validation and motivation to continue honing your skills and climbing the ranks of the competitive circuit. Your journey has only just begun and the road ahead promises more challenges, but also rewards if you're able to meet them. Keep it up. 200k. Woohoo. <laughs> like, you could have at least given me a million. Come on. Uh, whatever. 200k is better than nothing, I guess. So, we need to repair. And... I guess we're done here. Let me see. Oh, it looks like we're out of time for today, though. I was going to say we could uh, possibly do another arena mission before we go down to that def uh, stronghold defense. I think we'll do that next time, though. We'll uh, come down here and do the stronghold defense, come over here and do the raid. And then, if we still have time, maybe we'll come up here and look for another arena mission. So, and then we do need to find... So we need to find parts to build some of these. I would really like to get a Centurion or a Hunchback on the field. That would be a great, great upgrade for our Lance. Uh, it'd be nice to get rid of that Hornet. He's just not very good. I mean, two medium lasers and an SRM-6 is decent. But his armor is crap. I mean, he's a tiny little 20-tonner. So it's... The armor is crap. Um, from what I remember playing with it, too, you can't really aim your torso weapons up and down very very far. The, the angle of a pitch that you have on your torso with the Hornet is very low. Um, I played around with it a little bit, just testing it out one time. The, so the SRM sixes are going to be tough because those are right torso mounted. Those are going to be tough to use on it. Um, yeah, I think we need to replace the Hornet with, uh, something like the Centurion or even the Hunchback, even the Phoenix Hawk. I, I would take a Phoenix Hawk over a Hornet, or even over a Valkyrie any day. Um, yeah, that would be a great addition. So, we know what we need to do. That's what we'll work on uh, when we continue this playthrough. So, I hope you all are enjoying it so far. Uh, I know I am. I think early game can be a lot of fun. It's challenging, but it, it can really be a lot of fun, especially if you're used to playing in big, heavy, and assault mechs. Um, going back to the beginning with some low tier weapons, throwing them in a light mech or a medium mech and going after these missions. It uh, can keep you on the edge of your seat sometimes. So anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, we'll have some more fun with it next time. So I'll see you then.